What's normal to the spider is chaos to the fly. On three, two, one. Oh! Most spiders are less dangerous to us than we are to them. Still, lots of people find them creepy. We're built to spot and be wary of erratic motion, you know, like a skitter out of the corner of your eye. And psychological studies suggest that humans mistrust and fear angular shapes, you know, like spiders' legs. But arachnids are awesome. Here are a few of my favorites. The jumping zebra spider earned its nickname. The best human long jumpers could only manage leaps some five times their height. Salticus scenicus can jump 20 times its own length. But before you freak out, they average just a quarter of an inch long, meaning they amazingly leap about five and a half inches. Besides, they mostly feed on pesky insects like mosquitoes and flies, so they're actually helpful to humans. Meet Heteropoda David Bowie. The arachnologist who named this little buddy Peter Yeager couldn't resist comparing its bright orange hair and spindly legs to the look Bowie sported circa the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust and the spiders from Mars, yeah? Yeager also hoped that a famous name would raise awareness of the spider's endangered status. The Ariomenes flagellum is one of the weirdest looking spiders you'll ever see, if you notice it at all. The so-called twig spider has a bright green abdomen and can line up its thin legs so that it looks for all the world like an inch-long stick or bit of vine. These crafty creatures spin simple Y-shaped webs. If an insect falls for the spider's camouflage and mistaking its body for a safe perch on an abandoned web, the bug is in for a nasty surprise. The Australian jewel spider, a.k.a. Ostracantha minax, a.k.a. the Christmas spider, matures and spins webs around the holidays. But they're not just distinctive for their festivity. They're a rare social arachnid, and colonies of about 30 often group their webs together to cooperate for the greater safety and hunting efficiency of the whole group. Okay, so Theraphosa blondie looks like a Muppet from hell. And its nickname, the Goliath Bird Eater, won't soothe any of your fears. The biggest specimen captured, a female named Rosie, weighed more than a third of a pound, and they have fangs some three quarters of an inch long. But the Bird Eater feeds mostly on earthworms. It can catch bigger prey like mice or frogs, and has been observed to puncture and drink bird eggs when it finds them. But take comfort, they avoid humans and their bite is no worse to us than a wasp sting. So what's your favorite or least favorite spider species? Let me know in the comments. If you dug this video, give us a like and subscribe to let us know. And to learn more, like how the trapdoor spider sets alarms for itself, check out our article, 10 Amazing, Beautiful, Terrifying Spiders on HowStuffWorks.com.